That's always fun when you when you can yeah. blow your editor's mind with uh, and trip them out <laughs> on a, on a topic like that. Yeah, and give yeah, them the aha moment. So, how long have you have you been working with an editor editor um, from the beginning, or did you start to bring one on later later in the process? Um, I did work with some editors for the short story and the novellas, uh, though I think they all need to be re-edited again. Uh, not that it was their fault, but I think it was my learning curve, I should say, and maybe lack of communication on, on both our parts. But for the novel, I wanted somebody who would take me to task, so to speak, and make me better. And I asked uh, uh, an author friend of mine, by uh, her name's Shelley Adina, and I said, can you recommend? And she says, oh, uh, here's, here's mine, but beware, she, you know, she's expensive and she's not going to let you get away with anything. And I said, that's okay. As long as she's good, I, I don't care. And uh, she used to be an editor at Hachette, so that works for me. But yeah, she, uh, she makes me better and that's, that's all that matters. That's very important, and that's something yeah. for I think especially new writers need to learn how to take, <clears throat> excuse me, take take criticism. I think bringing on a writer might have been the best thing that I did when I did it. I mean, it helped me. Um, Chaz Pangburn has been my editor and even editor for the most part since since I brought him on for I think Wretches Two when we were still in kick, on Kickstarter prior mm -hmm. to it being picked up by Scout, and he he wouldn't hold back. He would he would tell me if something was bs or didn't make sense or um or if, if i didn't set it up properly like he would really not hold any punches and, and i loved it i mean it, it helped me grow and helped me learn what mistakes not to make and it just overall just made me a better writer i feel so i would definitely recommend to anybody out there that's that's one of the go-to moves is if you can afford it, I mean, obviously we've been talking back and forth of utilizing Kickstarter to even yeah. get the book made. But if you have the opportunity, I would definitely take up um, an editor or even a close friend or another author who might take a crack at just reading it, reading the script before it goes into the art. And if you value their opinion and let them know that you want them to be honest with you, that is a huge step in the right direction and for overall growth, in my, in my opinion. Oh, uh, absolutely. Um, I kind of feel that everyone should go to film school in their life or you want to be a writer just because you learn how to handle criticism because, I mean, I got used to having my ass handed to me on a regular basis uh, in the MFA program. Um, but for Where the... they do critiques? Would you... Um, oh, yeah. Annual oh, or weekly or bi-weekly weekly, critiques? <laughs> weekly. Ooh. Weekly. Yeah, whatever. If you were up, yeah, it was weekly. You just get beat up every week, no problem. Sometimes, yeah, you just you get you get used to it, and then you, yeah, you you learn how to take notes, and receive notes, uh, without getting your defenses up, and and that's really important. Uh, for my comic scripts, I actually have, and actually for my novels too, I have beta readers, and, uh, they're excellent. They they know the universe, and they keep me absolutely on track. I just remember when I, I was doing the, uh, the Spirit of Rebellion sequel and I sent it off to uh, one of my first beta readers and he came back with so many questions. I went like, okay, we need to start over here. <laughs> <laughs> those <laughs> are good to, notes. Those are good notes. I mean, because yeah. those are good questions because it told me exactly that I hadn't, I hadn't, broken the story yet. I, I hadn't really gotten to the heart of the story yet. I was trying to do too much. And so th that in itself is amazingly helpful. And so then I went back and did a complete page one rewrite. And um, uh, then they have him reread it and I had another reread it. I try to get both like male and pe female points of views on it. Um, so yeah, I, I do that with, with all the scripts. They go through beta readers. 